Going uphill is tiring, even on a road bike, and going downhill can be just plain scary. So how do you do both as quickly, safely, and energy efficiently as possible? Ever see those Tour de France guys sprint to the finish really fast out of the saddle? Yep, that's pretty quick, but for us everyday Joes, that's totally unsustainable. Staying in the saddle and spinning your legs at a higher cadence or RPM will save you energy and allow you to keep going for much longer. Your road bike most likely has two shifters. The right one activates the rear derailleur and the left one activates the front derailleur where you have sometimes one, but often two or three chain rings. By dropping down to the middle or even the smallest chain ring and shifting up on the rear cassette for steep climbs, this will allow you to spin your legs quicker and more efficiently. And remember, while shifting those gears, you'll need to reduce the pressure on your pedals while doing so. Do you hear that nasty crunching sound? Yep, that means you did it wrong and probably waited a little bit too long or had too much pressure on the pedals. Descending on a road bike definitely scares a lot of people when they're learning the ropes, especially when you're going around a tight turn. To control your speed on a straight descent, you should favor your front brake, as it's the most effective. If you're braking hard, shift your weight back a little to prevent a trip over the handlebars. Despite what it may feel like, descending on the drop bars is safer. You have more control and a better grip. Relaxing your shoulders, looking through the corner, not at the ground, and keeping your outside pedal at the six o'clock position will allow you to ride through corners safely at higher speeds. Ideally, while cornering, you should enter the corner at the correct speed, but if you do have to slow down, gently apply the back brake. Remember, speed isn't something to fear, but overconfidence and panic are, so build up your speed slowly as you gain experience. For more bike tips and tricks from Pure Cycles TV, click the link to subscribe.